guys in the last video we saw the definition of depression it's a condition which is uh, ha having all these things feeling of sadness lack of interest self neglect anorexia no appetite that is sleep disturbance suicidal feelings etc so this person can't sleep this person feels like suiciding also possibly so that is depression this can happen because uh, in the cortical, cortical uh, and limbic system, there is uh, less of monoamines like uh, serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, etc. BDNF, that is brain derived neurotropic factor, is also less. What is BDNF? Close your eyes and say brain derived neurotropic factor is less. Abnormal HPA levels, that is the hypothalamus pituitary, pituitary adrenal axis, is abnormal. The thyroid function is abnormal. The sex steroid levels are also abnormal. Uh, Edison's disease could be a cause of depression because there is uh, less sex steroids and early morning depression also could be caused from the caused from the adrenal gland. Okay. Apart from these depression, there are some depressions called as post postpartum depression, partum right, partum depression, which is happening after the birth of a baby, right? Postpartum depression. In this video, let us cover the classification of uh, antidepressants. Okay, are you ready? Good. Now, the classification of um, antidepressants here. So, the first thing that we will learn here are tricyclic antidepressants. Tricyclic antidepressants okay so tricyclic antidepressants then you have the SSRIs that is the selective serotonin serotonin reuptake inhibitors okay selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors then you have the serotonin and that is the SNRI, serotonin and noradrenaline, that is norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Okay, then you have atypical antidepressants, then you have MAOA inhibitors. MAO inhibitors means monoamine oxidase A inhibitors. So actually, these uh, there is MAOA and MAOB. This uh, A and B in that A and MAOA and MAOB in that MAOA is what is important for you as a drug. MAOB is not that important. That is only concerned with dopamine. Okay, you have to remember. M A O A. Please, if I have said that so many times, please at least remember it. Antidepression drugs. Okay. So we have seen the broad classification. Let us move on now to the details. In tricyclic antidepressants, um, actually these are more effective. Interestingly, these tricyclic antidepressants are more effective. However, they have lot of side effects also. So clear choice. Uh, currently, the choice for antidepression. The choice of drugs have, uh, as of now are SSRIs. SSRIs and SNRIs are the best actually. Tricyclic antidepressants are called tricyclic because of their structure. If you look at the structure here, they have this kind of structure. Triple ring, you can see this. That's why they are just called tricyclic antidepressants. Nothing great there that you need to uh, think why it is tricyclic. It is just the structure. Okay. Examples for them. These tricyclic antidepressants, what they do actually, they enhance the availability of norepinephrine and uh, serotonin. Okay. So, norepinephrine and serotonin will be available more. Wherever there are norepinephrine receptors, then norepinephrine will be available more. And wherever there is serotonin, serotonin will be available more. So, how does that happen? Because uh, in the central nervous system, okay, in the central nervous system, there is action by these tricyclic antidepressants. It makes sure that the norepinephrine is not reuptaken by the neuron that released them. So, the norepinephrine or, or serotonin will be available longer in that synaptic cleft. Also, there is less transport of these. Okay. 
So this is the way that tricyclic depressants act. Now let us move on to SSRIs that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The name itself is a giveaway. Here it works on the serotonin. So there is a serotonin reuptake which will be happening to reduce the serotonin levels, right? That will be inhibited. So serotonin levels will increase in the synaptic cleft. So you know serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine make you happy, right? That is why we have serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And the selective, so it is reuptaking only serotonin, which is very good, right? What else you should know? Serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, these are going to work on both of them. It's going to make sure that serotonin and noradrenaline are going to be reuptaken less. So that the levels will increase. That is the whole uh, idea, right? We want to increase the levels of serotonin and noradrenaline. Then you have atypical antidepressants. Atypical antidepressants want these two. These work on dopamine. This is different, right? This is dopamine. It works on dopamine and nor adrenaline or norepinephrine. Okay. So it makes sure that there will be more dopamine and norepinephrine or noradrenaline. Then coming to MAOA inhibitors. So these MAOA are enzymes that are going to metabolize norepinephrine, serotonin. Serotonin should be written as 5-HT actually. Serotonin, norepinephrine. These are going to be metabolized by these enzymes. And when these en enzymes are inhibited, obviously the serotonin and norepinephrine levels will increase, right? There's one very important thing you should know here. Tyramine is also increasing in this because tyramine also was being met uh, metabolized by these MAOA inhibitors. Now, tyramine also will increase and that will lead to something called as cheese reaction. Okay, so this, as will, this is something that we didn't want and is happening. So, it will cause something like cheese reaction, okay? Then coming to, I told you MAOB are also there. Anyways, we are not reading that. They are going to work on dopamine, okay, which we are not concerned about. Let us close this um, video with examples. Tricyclic antidepressants, the example here for you is uh, imipramine. Imipramine can be asked in the exam directly. So, you will have to explain tricyclic antidepressants that are going to increase the levels of norepinephrine and serotonin then you have flu fluoxetine okay fluoxetine is an example for selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors just look at how you will say fluoxetine this is fluoxetine right fluoxetine so did you understand how to say the word fluoxetine it is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor fluoxetine an important example you should know for selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors fluoxetine they can ask you fluoxetine directly in the exam okay then you have the um, snri for snri you just remember one example i will tell you since duloxetine actually it sounds like fluoxetine but actually it is a snri okay duloxetine is an snri there's another example which it won't confuse you that is venlafaxine Venla vaccine. This will not confuse you. That is an SNRI. Okay. Now coming to atypical antidepressants, you have bupropion. Bupropion. Okay. That is an atypical antidepressant. I told you they inhibit the reuptake of dopamine and norepinephrine. Then coming to MAO inhibitors. MAO inhibitors. You have this one, moclobemide. Moclobemide is a MAOA inhibitor. Moclobemide, okay, that example you will have to remember. And uh, an adverse reaction I told you is cheese reaction here of these drugs. Let us come to the details in the next video. As usual, it's time to revise, recall, revise what we learnt in this video. In this video, we learnt anti depressant drugs, right, classification. Tricyclic antidepressants, these are actually called like that because of their structure. Example is imiprazine, is that correct? Imipramine, imipramine, okay. And uh, the action is it increases norepinephrine and serotonin levels, but it has a lot of side effects, so it's not used. Then you have the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. 
these are going to increase serotonin levels only by decreasing the reuptake of serotonin. Example, very, very important. They'll ask in the exam, fluoxetine. Then you have SNRI. These are serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors. Example, you can say duloc setting but remember it is not a SSRI it's an SNRI another example if you want to remember is Venla vaccine then you are coming to atypical antidepressant drugs atypical antidepressant drugs are going to work on increasing dopamine and nor epinephrine example as bupropion bupropion is an example then you have MAOA inhibitors. These like example MOC low B mide like MOCLO B mide are going to inhibit the activity of MAOA inhibit MAOA which is going to be a monoamine oxidase A enzyme which is going to metabolize serotonin and norepinephrine now if that enzyme is inhibited the level of serotonin and norepinephrine will increase but unfortunately even tyramine levels will increase hence causing cheese reaction okay